Everything wrong with modern football. Turning up at turnstiles for a ticket. When FA Cup Day meant something. When the Dutch were good at football. Football worse today than it's ever been. Oh, you're right there, lad. The days when you could take sausage roll in and not be stopped by security a long way. Those were the days. Derek Clark joins us. Derek, hey, how are you doing? Not bad. Oh, uh, good to be here. Yeah, good to be here. Good to be here. Um, Derek, uh, a lad, I mean... Whenever we have to do an everything wrong about football, it means yeah. something monumental has gone yeah. wrong. Majorly. And uh, this weekend was certainly no different. Uh, you tweeted this one to me. You found this one, Derek. Yeah. And uh, nearly, sp nearly spewed all over my phone when I seen it. I mean, it's absolutely, it's absolutely atrocious. I mean, I've seen this with uh, other teams that have sort of alluded to it. Yeah. But while they're in training, uh, Fellaini, Pogba wearing the uh, names on the back of the shirts of two injured players. Now let's not re let's not forget they are not they're not you know injured for you know a season they're no. not they're not out for a long period of time they're just gonna be out for a few games yeah it's pathetic this Derek yeah this we're talking about Manchester United at the weekend absolutely uh, I mean it defies belief really um picture there of Fellaini and Pogba they, they were two I think all the players wore the shirts of Joking. Ibrahimovic and Marcus Rojo in the back Rooney had a, an Ibrahimovic top on <sighs> seen that and apparently, the, Mourinho says, everyone is very sad. Uh, we were thinking about them. They have to be strong. They've not died, for I goodness know. sake. They're still knocking about. Exactly. <sighs> Never Tell you what, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I think we first seen this when Suarez uh, was up for the... Uh, the spat with Evra. Remember yeah. when Dalglish and what have you wore T-shirts and it's just grown arms and legs. That, where's it going to end? What is this all about? If I'm a Manchester United fan and I'm attending that game at the weekend uh, against Burnley and I'm, wa I'm watching the players warm up and I'm like, what, what, is, what is that on the back of this? I was like, why have they got it? <sighs> and then, if, uh, and then you, re then you realise what it is. I'd yeah. walk out. I and I'm like, give my money back right now. Because it wouldn't just be that, Derek. It'd be the hundreds of people that sat around at these Premier League games with the phones out recording it while exactly. they're actually doing it. Exactly. It just stinks of a massive PR stunt from yeah. start to finish. It's it? just, it's, uh, I mean, we do this, what, everything wrong with modern football. This is a modern football thing that's really yeah. upsetting me big time. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. I mean, if a player dies, to. I mean, Ugo Ehiog sadly passed away also at the weekend, and you're thinking if the players had Ehiog in the back of your shirts, Yes, mm. you, 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 you'd, you'd go along with that, um, but guy, the guys have got sore knees. Yeah, that's it, that's what, the long and short of it. Here? They've got short eyes. Oh, it's pathetic, and to see the players that are wearing this, see if I'm a player, see if I'm Marwan Fellaini, and then I've got, I'll have got go into the dressing room, I've got a, a shirt with Ibrahimovic on there, I'm going, what are you doing, lads? Yeah. What, what's going on here? I put <laughs> it on. What? <laughs> but they're putting it on? Oh, that's... Uh, Oh, we're supporting our teammates. <sighs> Just pathetic. It really is. It really is. Because the one thing that uh, I remember interviewing uh, Paul Anders, a former Bradford uh, yeah. player last year, and uh, he was playing very well five or six games. He got an ACL. He was out for the vast yeah. majority of the season. He played a couple of games towards the end. An interview with him that I had just before he came back, he said, you know, it was all the lads got around me, you know what I mean? It was great, and they, they all supported me. But they did that in the changing room. Yes. They didn't need to no. show it. You know, none of them coming out with Anderson on the back of the shirts or anything yeah. like that. They're doing it in the changing room. They're making them laugh there. I mean, this just it's just embarrassing. Of it. Like, if you're a Man United fan, that's you're that's you're just a figure of fun. Then I, I'd be mm. utterly embarrassed if uh, my club did that. I'd I'd uh, I'd be like, what is going on here? Yeah. I mean, imagine Bradford did it. <sighs> <laughs> the, sure, McCall wouldn't allow that. I don't no, think. I don't think he would. And I'd have every right to say no. Get those t-shirts yeah. all the way. Yeah, yeah. Throw those t-shirts away. And that is away. a fine for every one of you <laughs> that are putting that on. Unbelievable. Exactly. Just, uh, it just defies belief, really. I mean, I'm looking at it, I'm, I feel sick what, looking at it, the pictures yeah. of it, I actually feel sick. Yeah. I mean, Man, <laughs> Man City did it earlier this season, didn't they? They did, For yeah. it De Bruyne or something like that, yeah. somebody, somebody get injured. So, I mean, they're not alone, and I, I, I fear that there'll be more clubs doing this. Yeah. It needs nipped in the bud pronto. It does, it does. Um, imagine, imagine Roy Keane was still at the club. Oh. Ima imagine him still at the club when guys like Paul Pogba, who's an absolute joke in my eyes, <laughs> only interested in himself, walking about with shots like that on. Yeah. He'd be like, no, get that off. Yep. Come with me. You know, I think this is the problem with a lot of modern football. You don't have the players like Roy Keane that are in there. They, they don't. tell people. It's, it's too nice and nice. Yes. 
You know, they could just say this is this is beyond a joke now. Yeah. And this is this is making the club look daft. You know what I mean? I yeah, thought exactly. that the end of doing stuff like this would be Liverpool's FA Cup winner. And when I went out in the white suits, I got ridiculed for yeah, it. Yeah, the Space Boys. That's it. I thought that would be the end of it then. Yeah. But it isn't. He's coming back slowly <laughs> but surely. Soon they'll all have white suits on, coming yeah. back with injured players on the back. Because they've got a splinter when they were guarding yeah. it the weekend. It's a disgrace. <laughs> Manchester United, you know the problem with Manchester United is as well, mm. right? This is the thing that gets me, Derek. Every time we do this, it seems to be something around Manchester United. Now, it it's, does. It's not just about them. Just stop doing stupid. Stop having tractor <laughs> sponsors. Stop having <laughs> noodle sponsors. You know. Another thing, uh, I'm glad you brought that up, actually. I was watching the old firm game at the weekend. Yeah. Uh, both clubs had black armbands, obviously for Hugo Hayward. But Rangers had black armbands with the Puma logo in the back. Oh. Of it. So they're, the black armbands are branded now, are they? I mean, what's going on here? That's absolutely disgusting. It disgusted me. I, I, was, I was actually disgusted. To, I meant to bring that up, so glad you reminded me. I'm Horrible. not surprised. I'm not surprised. You just find another way to get some yeah. more money out of a game exactly. that already has too much in it. Exactly. Uh, Derek, as always, it's an absolute yeah. pleasure. I feel better now we've got yeah, that off our chest. Yeah, I've got that off our chest.